everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the series. We are playing Donkey Kong Country 2 Diddy Kong's Quest. This is episode, I believe, 6 of the series. And I think this is where I was talking in the last episode where we're going to do the roller coaster race. Um, and I know there's, uh, I'll show you guys, I'm going to do it. Uh, but if you guys want to, I think you possibly want to see, uh, like, the actual level play in itself. Uh, but I believe the DK coin is up here. Or there's a bonus world up here, one of the two. Um... But on oh god, throw it back up! <laughs> I need Dixie. Uh, on the, I'll show you guys a little cheat here that'll take you to the end of the game. Uh, that once we do this bonus world, I don't need him now. Once we do this bonus world here, I'll show you guys what that is. And it was kind of cool. It was like one of my like all-time favorite things back in the the day, where I was like, oh, I was able to do it. Sweet, you know. I was like, oh man, this is so awesome. I'm so glad I figured this out. Nobody else knows about this. You know, it, it, it turned out it was like one of those things everybody knew about. But let me see here. You should get dropped right here. If you hold back on the D-pad, you'll go backwards. You'll hit that. And then it'll give you a time boost. See, that was one of those things I was like, oh man, nobody else knows about this. But they steal your bananas, and you're kind of in a race against time here as you go through. You have to kind of go as fast as you can, um, which can be challenging because I forget how the level rides, but you also have to be careful of the holes. Ah. Uh. Yeah, so this is, that was one of those little cheats that I knew back in the day that would help me get through this level faster. It was, uh, there, there's one similar in uh, the original Donkey Kong series for the minecart episode or whatever it is. But if you jump... Oh my god. If you jump in the Donkey Kong original game on the first minecart game, if you jump directly down from the start of that level, it hits a, a warp beer, a warp barrel that will take you to the end of the, the level. Okay, we got him. We just have to eliminate 10 people and not fall in a hole. That's the whole point of this freaking, um, the whole point of this level here. Either pass up or don't. Or, or don't fall in a hole or don't get passed up. That's about all you have to do in this level. Ooh, landed right on him. Come on. It's like complete focus. I got the dragon! I need to quit trying to rush through. That's what I'm doing. I'm trying to rush through the level here. I'm just gonna go with it. I'm just gonna let him kind of go do my thing. Keep tailing him. Hey, excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, I missed the K. Which I don't think it really matters because if you, as you progress through this level, it gets faster anyway. So the more enemies that you kill, like the faster you get. So either way, you're not really doing yourself any injustice by not hitting that little cheat code thing back here. Um, but it's just a nice little thing that helps you get through the level if you need to, if you want to do it faster, if you're a speedrunner and you don't know about it, then there you go. You know, there's something you might have not known that I showed you now. If I could just show you guys how to beat this damn level now without falling off. Get the hole! Okay, I'm just gonna constant fucking trait myself into a fucking abyss. Why am I struggling so fucking hard on this right now? I don't understand. I don't understand why I can't do this. As a kid, I used to do it all the time.
Okay, we got this. Just focus. Just watch. Every time you need to jump, there's an exclamation point. Okay, just pay attention. Less talky, more jumpy. Less talky, more paying attention. Yeah, the more you talk, the, the more holes you fall into. All right. I don't care about anything else aside from beating this level now. I don't care about the DK coin. I don't care about Kong. I don't care about extra lives. I'm just gonna beat this level. I don't care what I have to do. Come on. There we go. I got second. Don't even care. Diddy, jump on the hook, man. Bop, there we go. Holy hell, man, that one took me a minute. Okay, so I think we have two more levels until the end here. This one is another crocodile level with the uh, swamp and such. It's not a bad level. It's, uh, woo! It's this guy. This guy here, I used to call him the Derpy Tasmanian Devil. Uh, he will literally warp you all the way across the stage if you let him. He's he's like one of those things. It's like here I go, I'm gonna spin. And then he does. He spins. He grabs you, and then he launches you all the way across the freaking stage. And he pops up everywhere, and you just gotta dodge him, you know? You just gotta kinda run away from him, because if you don't, if he hits you, and he gets a hold of you, it's the end at that point. You're just, you're just whirling around in circles, and he throws your ass into the swamp. Uh, I don't know why I did that. I, I still don't understand why this is really a thing. Like, why that thing is there. I mean, I get it, I guess. But at the same time, it's not really needed because you have to take your time anyway. Because if you mess up, you fall in the hole anyhow. So what's what's the point of the invincibility thing? Hey. 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 Oh, I still didn't get it. That's all right. Come on, you stupid pigeon. There we go. I just wanted the, the the halfway point. Got my girl. My daughter, whenever we play together, she's like, Oh, Daddy, that's you, and uh, you're Diddy Kong, and I'm Dixie. And I thought it was the cutest thing in the whole world. Actually melted my heart a little bit, because, you know, to have her say that, it was like, Oh, oh my God, I love you, baby doll. But it's really cool. I love that she loves this series as much as I do. Ooh. See, like, this this would be more needed of, like, the, uh... Like, the invincibility thing. Because at least you have control over the... Die. You stupid thing. At least you have control over the... Um... Cattails? No, 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 no! See what I'm talking about? Stupid thing. Okay. Okay. No, no. Oh, I was almost there, man. Don't screw it up now. You're almost there at the end. Okay. We're all good. We're all good. Just a little bit of concentration. A little more concentration. No! It fell in the freaking water. 
Okay, this is the challenging part, because they fire just enough barrels to get you through. If you miss, you're dead. Ah, oh, man! Screw it. We got it anyway, ha! Ah. It's such a good riff. Ramby Rumble! Yeah, this one's called Ramby Rumble, I believe, because you get to play as Ramby the Rhino through the honey, obviously. But I don't remember how to get him. I'll be honest. I don't remember where he's at. Jump, jump. Ooh. Woo, woo, woo. Woo, woo, woo. Woo, woo, woo. Woo, woo, woo. Come on. Come on. Jump. Jump. Spider monkey, spider monkey. Does whatever a spider monkey does. Oh, shouldn't have did that. Oh well. I was trying to kill time, and that's what happened. See? Don't don't do that, kids. Woo! I don't even know if I'm going the right way right now. I don't feel like I am. But, as we, we press forward. Okay, I must be going the right way, because I have another letter here. I didn't get the K. Halfway. Alright. I really need Dixie back, or the Rhino. The Rhino would be cool. I think this is where you turn into him, actually. Oh, I remember this part! Yeah, so you turn into the rhino, and then you get chased by the freaking, the boss bee. I remember this. Yeah, you come out of here, and... I don't know how to get that. Uh, I think you come out of here. I'm going to try and do something here. Uh, didn't work either. Yeah, you come out of here, and I believe, like, at some point... Oh, I should have got that when I had the chance. At some point... Please hold. <laughs> Alright, so we're back after I started in the fetal position, crying in the corner. Can't believe I let that happen just now. I believe, anyway, that's what you have to do. I think you get chased down by the boss bee in this one. Can't believe I ran right into a damn barrel. Got it! There we go. Skills, baby! That's what I'm talking about! Woohoo! Yeah, I'm like 100% sure this is where it happens. Yep, there he is. Really cool, man. This was such a cool thing. I remember, like, back whenever I was younger, and I was like, Oh my god, what do I do? I just kind of did that just now whenever I seen him again for the first time. Go, Randy! I was like, oh man, what do I do? Do I just run? Only one banana is good. So cool, man. So nostalgic. I love it. Yeah, so, ding, ding. This is where Squawk come in. He's like, you pick it on my buddy? He's like, yo, you pick it on my Ramby buddy? So, real cool thing here. You can literally sit here, and you can just squawk, and you can hit this dude as he's passing. If you stay right here for a limited amount of time and just throw, you know, balls at him as he passes, you can do that little number. Because, I mean, you're eventually going to get hit. But, you know... He'll, he'll back down. He'll back down eventually. See? 
But I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend. I would not recommend. I would go out and I would do Do the damn thing! Um, yeah, so the only thing bad about this bee is as you hit him, he gets super fast. And that's why I normally, like as a kid, would just shoot him from the starting gate and hope that he never came in. But eventually he does, like, turn into, like, multiple bees. So it's better to, like, go out and actually face him. Kind of got to creep up on him and... What I would normally do is I would stay to one side up here in the corner, and let him kind of pass, let him do his thing, and then I hit him again. Oh! Forgot about that. Now I have to focus because I don't have the extra life. I would just kind of tail him. Like as a kid, which might not be the best strategy for it after looking at it now. I just kind of got to sneak up on him and do the thing. But after so many times, there's, there's a lot of concentration you got to put into this guy. Uh, because once you hit him, so many times he does turn into a, a like a bee swarm. I guess is the best word for it. Come on! Jesus! Yeah, so what he'll do is he'll, he'll pop... No! He'll pop some stingers out, and then as he does that, I think it's like three times, just like the normal bosses, he changes and does something else. I think whenever he changes is whenever he goes into um, the bee swarm. Come on. Come on, you fucking thing. Got him. Yeah, so it's- No, God, no! God, this guy is such a pain. Okay, that's, I believe, gonna be the one. Yeah, then he'll, he'll trail you, and he can't be hurt. Then you gotta hit him three times, I believe it is. Got him! That's it, baby! Come in here messing with squawks! There we go! Yeah, man! Heck yeah! Alright, y'all! So we're going into Gloomy Gulch. Uh, which is another good, good level in this game. Uh, the Gloomy Gulch has got a good soundtrack too, so stay tuned and we're going to start that one in the next episode as you guys come on back. I appreciate everything you guys do. I appreciate y'all being here with me. I appreciate y'all watching. I will see you guys in the next video. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and drop a like, share, and subscribe, and I will see y'all next time. Bye-bye.